Hi, in this video I'm going to talk about the tail stock and the future that I added to my tail stock not long ago that I find it is quite handy to have it on and also showing you how to align your tail stock on the bed as a hobbyist it's good to have some level of precision on the work what I mean by precision I'm not talking about macrons but it's good to have at least few hundreds of a meter within the aspect dimension whatever or diameter whatever you, the size is and the other thing is the consistency or working on a long rod or long piece of rod round stock whatever you're working on it's good to have the similar diameter or all along the bar or the workpiece and this is where the tail stock it's playing the key role to having that precision before before I go to this future what I like to do uh, I I'm gonna first make a locking mechanism a locking plate for the, the base because ba back in the, my video uh, if, if you watch my previous video I've done few changes to my mini lathe uh, and one of the thing I've done uh, I, I add up a piece of plate having that plate on it helps a lot to keep the tail stock in line and it doesn't place as much as before one of the reason the base was playing so much because the base is so small it, I can tell is about maybe six six or seven centimeter and here I have the locking plate, the original locking plate and the reason I couldn't use the original part because the plate I added underneath doesn't allow doesn't allow this plate to fully clamp uh, under the bed so as you can see this is the base uh, and the locking plate doesn't look doesn't look good although it does the job it, lock the tail stock in place but I don't like the way it look the way it looks so we're gonna make a new one
the locking plate is done now and it really lock well in place and, and, and I'm happy with it now let's back to the main topic which is this piece of block I call it a slider basically it's a piece of block that mounted on a base with these two bolt at the top and it holds another bolt in center as you can see so the bolt is stationary at in the block it only t turns to clockwise and anti-clockwise and by doing that basically I can slide my tail stock toward left or right without changing orientation right and I also having these two bolts at the back I can change the orientation slightly so I can tilt the nose toward the right or left and uh, it really uh, the reason I put this on first well, because of the alignment it makes it a lot easier to line up my tail stock and uh, the other thing I, when I line this tail stock uh, as I move it to the different point I get a slightly different reading uh, this was the case with me I always when I work on a piece of uh, round stock and I always find my the end of the workpiece is slightly is bigger or smaller in diameter because of the disalignment in the tail stock when I say bigger or smaller uh, I mean maybe within a few hundreds of a mil so uh, first what I'm going to show you I'm going to show you how to line this tail stock how, how I'm adjusting it and then when it's fully adjusted I'm gonna turn a piece of mild steel and I need to make a shaft um, to the diameter of 3.96 millimeter right the way I adjust my tail stock or line it up with the chalk first read, take a reading from the side and see if it's straight and then if, if somehow it's tilted I can use these two bolts to change the orientation and make it uh, straight and also reading take a reading from the top take a reading from the top and if see if the nose is up or down and I can add a shim or something underneath so adjust the height as well so and then after the orientation got right what I do I move it take the reading from the diameter and uh, without changing the orientation I slide the tail stock left or right to uh, cent to make it cent right at the center now I'm gonna line, line up the tail stock I didn't touch anything I just put the assemble it and put it on the bed so now I'm gonna start to to line it up and the other thing I like to mention about this tail stock I changed all my bolts I, I used a M6 bolt for all the points so with the one with the five millimeter allen key I can easily uh, I just uh, I can turn these all three screws even underneath also is a similar bolt so and this is a good thing about having similar bolts so one tool do, does the job somewhere between the z zero but this and 
it's 40 so I need to drag it somewhere toward 20 to get it right I do now use my other dial You get the idea, this is the way. Right. Now, the side is, is, in, is uh, straight, but now we messed up the front. Perfect. This one is perfect as well. Awesome. So now let's do the cut and see how it looks. done a pause on it and what I'm trying to show you now is just uh, see the difference between the tip of the bar and the end of the bar is about seven millimeter seven point ninety millimeter is about 7.88 200 of a mil is difference 200 of a mil from the head to end of the bar so 
and my tail stock is fully adjusted and now I'm going to be using this slider and just uh, adjust it as you can see it allows me to adjust it to the point that I need It was a shaft, it is a 10 millimeter shaft. I turned it to about 3.96 and let's just a quick check, see how it looks. As you can see. And right and this is the end of the video if you if you like the video you make sure give me a thumbs up and also if you are new consider to subscribe to my channel stay safe see you next time